Oh, come on, man. They're about to do a gun run. You need to get down. Let's go, buddy. Come on, man. Saving the day again, baby. <laughs> the A-10, also known as the Hog, is one of the most iconic planes in the U.S. Air Force. It was developed during the Cold War with a specific type of warfare in mind. The U.S. Air Force developed an operational doctrine called the Airland Battle, and the A-10 was designed as a vital component of this strategy. It was intended to be a low-flying tank killer, working closely with ground troops to disrupt enemy formations at the front lines, while high-flying bombers targeted supply lines at the rear. The A-10 was specifically designed for the role of close air support. Close air support requires a plane that can withstand significant damage while operating in close proximity to both friendly and hostile forces. It needs to be highly accurate to avoid friendly fire incidents. This type of aircraft must be readily available to provide support at a moment's notice in a rapidly changing battlefield. Troops may require immediate support without warning, so the plane needs to be nearby and ready for action. To fulfill its role effectively, the aircraft operates from forward bases that may lack the full infrastructure and equipment of other aircraft. It needs to be rugged and able to withstand the intense conditions of flying close to the ground. This also means facing continuous fire from small arms and machine guns, anti-aircraft guns, and even missiles. A damaged A-10 often returns to base with severe damage such as ripped off wings, disabled engines, and non-functional hydraulics. The A-10 was designed to be simple and cost-effective to manufacture. In an all-out war with the Soviets, quantity and ease of production were significant factors. Similar to influential tanks like the Sherman and the T-34 in World War II, the ability to outproduce and maintain equipment was crucial. The A-10 was meant to be a cheap and rugged war horse, utilizing readily available off-the-shelf parts. This allowed maintenance crews to easily replace damaged parts enabling quick repairs at a low cost. The centerpiece of the A-10's design is the General Electric GAU-8 gun, which has become iconic and even a meme. The gun occupies a significant portion of the plane's internal volume, with a length of nearly six meters. It is situated below the pilot, and its ammo drum typically holds 1,150 rounds of 30 millimeter ammunition. The rounds are delivered to the gun's seven rotating barrels through a linkless feed system, and the shell casings are pulled back into the ammo drum after firing to prevent damage to the aircraft. The gun's belt system and rotating barrel firing system are both driven by a hydraulic motor, powered by two independent hydraulic systems on board. Redundancy is crucial, so there are two separate hydraulic systems pressurized by identical engine-driven pumps. If one engine or hydraulic line fails, the controls powered by those hydraulics cease to work. However, the A-10 is designed to continue flying on a single hydraulic system, maintaining powered control of pitch, roll and yaw. In the event of both hydraulic systems failing, the plane can switch to a manual reversion flight control system allowing the pilot to land the aircraft safely or at least reach a safe airspace for ejection. The A-10 incorporates redundancy and protection measures throughout its design to enhance survivability. The fuel tanks are self-sealing on the lower portions and filled with foam to prevent explosions. The plane can also fly with significant armor covering all parts prioritizing the protection of the pilot inside the titanium tub. The canopy is made from ballistic glass, capable of withstanding small arms fire and shrapnel from anti-aircraft fire and missiles. The A-10 carries more chaff and flares than any other aircraft in the U.S. Air Force inventory. These countermeasures are used to confuse and defeat enemy radar-guided missiles. 
chuff consists of small lightweight aluminium strips that are ejected from the aircraft, creating a radar signature that overwhelms enemy missile guidance systems. Flares, on the other hand, are heat emitting devices that divert heat seeking missiles away from the aircraft by attracting them to the flare's heat source. In addition to its defensive measures, the A 10 is equipped with a wide array of offensive weaponry. It can carry a combination of air 2 surface missiles, such as the AGM 65 Maverick and AGM 114 Hellfire, as well as laser guided bombs like the GBU 12 Paveway 2. These weapons allow the A-10 to engage and destroy various ground targets, including armored vehicles, tanks, and fortified positions. Furthermore, the A-10 has the ability to employ a variety of cluster bombs, which can disperse multiple smaller munitions over a wide area, effectively neutralizing soft targets such as enemy personnel, light vehicles, and artillery emplacements. The A-10 is also capable of delivering unguided bombs, such as the MK-82 and MK-83, which provide a high explosive capability against a wide range of targets. Over the years, the A-10 has undergone several upgrades to enhance its capabilities. These upgrades have included improvements to its avionics, communication systems, and weapon systems. The most significant upgrade is the ongoing Aminus 10 Coulomb Precision Engagement Modification Program, which incorporates advanced targeting systems, such as the Lightning Advanced Targeting Pod. This pod allows the pilot to identify and engage targets more effectively, especially in low light and adverse weather conditions. Despite discussions about retiring the A-10 in the past, the aircraft has continued to prove its worth on the battlefield. Its unique combination of durability, firepower, and close air support capabilities make it an invaluable asset to ground forces. The A-10's distinctive sound and the fearsome reputation of its GAU-8 gun have earned it a special place in the hearts of pilots and ground troops alike. The A-10 Thunderbolt II, commonly known as the Warthog, has a rich operational history and has been deployed in various conflicts, showcasing its effectiveness as a close air support aircraft. Let's delve into some notable instances where the 8N has demonstrated its capabilities. One notable deployment of the A-10 was during the Gulf War in the early 1990s. The A-10 played a critical role in supporting ground forces by conducting numerous close air support missions. Its ability to loiter over the battlefield for extended periods and deliver accurate firepower proved invaluable in destroying Iraqi armored vehicles and providing cover for friendly ground troops. Another significant deployment of the A-10s was during the Balkans conflict in the 1990s. The aircraft was used extensively in Operation Deliberate Force and Operation Allied Force, providing close air support to NATO forces. The A-10's accuracy and ability to precisely engage targets helped to minimize collateral damage while effectively neutralizing enemy forces. The A-10's capabilities were further demonstrated during Operation Enduring Freedom in Afghanistan and Operation Iraqi Freedom. In Afghanistan, the A-10 played a crucial role in supporting ground forces engaged in counterinsurgency operations. Its ability to operate from austere airfields and rugged terrain allowed it to reach remote areas and provide close air support where other aircraft faced limitations. During Operation Iraqi Freedom, the A-10 was once again called upon to provide close air support to coalition forces. Its powerful arsenal, including the GAU-8 Avenger cannon, was effective in destroying enemy vehicles and fortifications. The A-10's durability also proved critical, as its robust design allowed it to withstand enemy fire and return safely to base. The A-10's close air support capabilities have also been utilized in more recent conflicts, such as the ongoing fight against ISIS in the Middle East. The aircraft has been instrumental in engaging enemy positions and providing protection to friendly forces on the ground. In addition to its combat roles, the A-10 has also been involved in humanitarian and disaster relief operations. 
Its ability to operate from austere locations and deliver precise firepower has allowed it to assist in various relief efforts, providing support in areas affected by natural disasters or humanitarian crises. Overall, the A-10 Thunderbolt II has consistently proven itself as a reliable and effective close air support aircraft. Its durability, firepower, and ability to operate in challenging environments make it a vital asset for ground forces in a wide range of military operations. The A-10's continued presence in the U.S. Air Force's inventory highlights its enduring relevance and importance in modern warfare. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on more videos like this. Click here for your next video.